Yeah, so what uh, we are going to do here is we'll create another font or some kind of library, right? So we have one CSS file, and we can just import the CSS file and and use our icons. And it will be not SVG and not PNG. It will just a font, right? So uh, let's see. <coughs> So this is font or some icon. They are not SVG. They are just a font. So each icon is having their own name, right? And how to use this? That's a question. Okay, to create a font or some. So what we have to do is we have to create an odd CSS file and that CSS file will include all the icons class, right? Like uh, font awesome solid and font awesome user. So these are their font awesome class. So which they can use in uh, which they can use on any web site and just display icon, right? <coughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and create our own font awesome. So I have some icons that are vectors icon, right? So so what we have to do is uh, we have to convert these all icons to something like font awesome. To we have to convert this to font basically, right? So <coughs> so to do that. We will use a tool called uh, Icomoon, right? And Icomoon will help us to import your all, import your all SVGs and convert it to uh, font. So let's go ahead. So here we can go on the dashboard. So first of all, we have to create a project here. We'll go on manage projects right uh, i think it's saying by default one untitled project so we'll rename it and we'll put our icon name so we'll call our icon maya icon let's say maya icons right like font or some so we are, we are calling it a my icons we'll click on load okay so it's called loaded as you can see here and we'll start importing our svg files so before importing let's export this all svg as a this image is as a svg right so we'll do one by one okay so let me create a folder This is one I can call cluster. We'll take this one. We'll call it in a widget X. Amazon monitoring. We'll call it graph. Also be an SVG format. We'll call it file. take this we'll call it dashboard right and we can take this edit also so right now we have six icons so which are in SVG right so let's import this six icons in icomoon can select all in by ones okay and so we got our icons here so this is a preview of your SPG you just imported right and 
let's select this and here you can see we have six icons selected those are SVGs now if you see on the next options we have generate font right so this will be your final step generate font so so these are actually icons font which is something like font also you can see icons on the right and their icon name on the okay icon on the left and their name on the right so same as a font or some so so we need to do some preference here uh, let's go to preference so we have uh, icons name that's a, i think it's a librarian like font or some so what we'll do is uh, oh it's my icons right just in my icons and you can select a class here like a prefix like a font or something is having like fa so we can select a class also here so we'll say ama just my icons and these are some external options like uh, you can generate a sas file also so by default your font awesome gives you only css file right so let's generate a css only some more option here here like uh, CSS selector, so we'll use the CSS selector as a class name. That will be our AMI. So we don't need this, uh, no metadata we want. We can do versioning also here. Okay, I think we are good. So, yeah, so final step will be just click on download and get the icons for you. So it will give you the zip file, right? So this is the what file we just got. So, okay, so this file includes all the font source, so, and it is having a demo file also to preview the icons how it's looking. If you go inside the fonts, so you will see okay, these are actual fonts like TTF, web font, SVG, and for one is EOT that's for I think Internet Explorer right and so these are actual font so we got the font and what we had to do is we had to just import this fonts in our project and yeah that's all so let's open a demo file If you see these are our generated icons which are not SVG which are just font like font or some and these are their icon names so by putting these icon names we can just access this font in any project and if you inspect this so you can see here right it's a it's a class it's a CSS class and this icon is coming from CSS class and the selector is EMI and the second argument is your uh, uh, actual file name, actual icon name, right? So EMI and EMI files, same as a font or some FA and FA file. So yeah, you can see all the files, EMI, EMI cluster. It's nothing but it's just a font. If you want to increase the font size, you can put some color also red color red yeah and if you want size you can put size font size i don't know text size i think Yeah, it's working right so we can increase the font size just by typing the font size right it can accept all the arguments as a text which can work on text great 
so yeah so let's see how we can import these icons as a font or some icons in our project and start using that so if you go to this html file it's nothing but it's a small project and if you see how they are doing so yeah okay so they have imported a class they imported a css file called style.css right and so all our classes coming from this styles files which is nothing but your uh, style.css a global file which includes all the fonts here and if you want once you included the style file and you can start typing a class name or you can just use a class name which comes from this style file like am i am i added so i think we have six icons right so yeah so you can see all the six icons here so it's auto generated files so am i am i added and there will be am i dashboard yeah am i files here so what we have to do is in our projects uh, we just have to import this css class css file and just start using the classes that's all